Right, what is happening, everyone? Transporter here. My voice is finally back, but I have a really sore lip, so I might not talk for long. But we have come to the age where we can finally do some proper tuning in the mod shop. Mod shop is all new in this um, update for Need for Speed No Limits, and I wanted to walk you through mod shop does so you can understand what they've brought along and what this means for the future of customization in the game the aim is still the same you get to customize your car however you want but the ui has been completely redone and it leaves room for them to put more customizable features into the game and so and so on and so forth so let us choose an existing car that i have not touched that has body kits. You know what? Let, let's 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 take the skyline, right? Let's take on the R34. Okay. So this is a new UI. Has paint, parts, paint, wrap, and stance. So if I go to parts now, everything here now goes by specific body parts. So if you want to, if you want to change a specific body part within your car, you can just switch over the body. From body, we have stock arch here. Stage six start arch one here and then we get arch two and then we get arch three i don't have arch body stock okay now we get stock let's go to headlights so each body part on the car now is completely customizable it's not just one preset body kit and um you know trying to customize the spoiler and everything every part on the on the on the body of each car is completely customizable if you want a specific hood you're gonna need a specific hood on the car and you can't put that hood on because you need a different set of, of parts there so there are now incompatible parts you'd be aware of that in the specific prerequisites to do before you can equip that part you can go straight to front bumper you can put this bumper on of the wheels they have wheels that are different here to spoiler okay. literally adjust the camera as you're customizing your car you don't really have to worry about popping in popping out of free view to just to do that front bumper i can't put that one on unless i have that now it makes sense okay i thought there's just body kits in general so this is just like this is the stock fenders these are custom fenders i don't know if that really means anything to the front bumpers that i can't put on but i can put this on but i can't put those on okay go back to the body if i go arch two that widens the stand side a bit because that's what that one is. Right. Front bumper. I can't put this on. What is this one? Oh, you know what that one is? That one is this one. Okay. Now I understand. Okay, so do that. No change. Right. Headlights remain the same. Hood. I can do this. Right. Mirrors. They were like that. I can do stock if I wanted to. And that actually looks like a proper SNZ tool if I do that, to be honest with you. Roof scoop. Do I really want a roof scoop on here? I do not. Stock. Roof spoiler. Nope. Skirts. Those remain the same. Others are incompatible because I have this art set up. So there are incompatible parts here that makes it a bit more realistic. Those are stock reds. All these blacked out ones have always been look cool. License plate, you can always change those for once you have and once you don't, if you haven't done any stuff like that. Exhaust, and those, this, that, and the stocks of these. Yep, rear bumper, we did that already. So that is it then. You can customize each body part on your car and you can literally move the camera however you like as you're customizing. So if you want different hoods, there are different hoods to choose from. Depending on what arch setup you have, there are different bumpers to choose from. I thought you could mix and match, but I think it's depending on what car it is and what parts are compatible on said car. So that's one thing you have to look out for. That's basically what it is, but 
I think what people really want to know is <laughs> stance of your car. So for the first time in this game, you get to customize the ride height of your car. And you can do it distinctly, front ride height, rear ride height, so you can literally make like a hot rod like or like a I don't know if people like this this is just weird but you can make it sit on the floor you can adjust the camber of your car like so so if you want to do full-on stance nation slam to the floor you could do that or if you like me well you can't really adjust it in between there's just three levels Stock, low, and then full on slam. That is the end result. A bit of cleanliness here and there, and you have to pay for that. And you don't have to go in and out of different, uh, diff in and out of different menus on the customization screen to get to wraps or paint. It is all right there for you, um, for you to enjoy. It's still the same um, setup as before. Like there are different achievements that you can do um, to get. Um, different wraps on here speaking of special history months this month is women's history month so if you do 30 seconds of airtime you get to unlock or you have enough gold you get to unlock these so 30 seconds for each of them so 60 seconds overall you get to unlock these lovely lovely looking liveries for your automobile i think it should be said that the only thing that costs money to customize, so people were questioning me that now nah, things cost money to customize, not the case. You can still unlock everything, um, all the parts you need to customize your car by leveling up the car um, via, um, you know, stars like that. But the only thing that costs money on here to customize is stance. The price of customization increases depending on what class your car is in. So this is a classic sports and it's 14,000. Everything else is here, body, brake calipers, rims if you wanted to. And you, unfortunately you can't really do two rims at once. You gotta do one rim at, a, you know, both rims at, at both rooms at the same time so that is one example let's try another example this is my 911 looking like one of the blood things new campaign that we just got through we'll adjust the camera like so i really don't wanna well i can i can't do it but look at those how wide those tires are it just looks weird there are still things that they could add on here one thing that i'm going to suggest now is tire width and maybe wheel spacers, but that's just what they, what they want to do. Anyway, we will do that now. Depending on what fenders you have installed, you can't put any other fenders on here. So it's all locked, all not compatible with said car. As you can see, these are special ones. So the RWB, the Robert Bergref, um arch that you have installed here and the arch 5 for molotov here that you can they have limited they are limited in what you can put on here but up to there you can pretty much put anything you want it would seem so you can't put the wirewood burgraf body wirewood burgraf or this molotov systems body bumper on but you can put this Club Sport or GT2 looking front bumper. You can still put an RWB spoiler on here, but you can't put an RWB bumper on here because it just does not fit. It's, it's, it's gives, it definitely gives you a lot more freedom to mix and match parts. There are some things that are still incompatible because obviously like it is in, um, in NFS 2015 payback and heat, there are some body kits that are, you know, different uh are, you know incompatible body parts that are incompatible unless you install like a specific kit you know i mean it's all the same this is just replicating that stuff replicating that stuff onto a mobile device which is a pretty remarkable achievement something that i definitely wanted to see in this game for a while and just not having everything locked under having everything set like that just having us giving us the uh, the freedom to mix and match certain body parts as like at will so that's what that's what that's what this update does for us now what this also means is that it does give them room to add 
more body kits to cars that don't have body kits. For example, the NSX doesn't have any parts on it at all. It just has this dark thing. And it just has all the basic stuff. Now, what this means is that in the future, they will add more stuff to cars like this and it's a good thing because this thing needs a tuner and it's really barren and like it needs stuff <laughs> it needs stuff i mean we've come from nfs console games where you could literally turn this thing into like an advanced nsx or, or a rocket bunny nsx or something like that and stuff, stuff, stuff and so forth so that's why i said you know if you have any customizable references or details or ideas, you know, pass them on. Even in here this video, pass them on into the comments and I'll pass those on to the Fire Monkey guys and they will take your considerations, hopefully. But what we can do is for now, for the moment, we can adjust the ride height of our cars at the moment and the stance of our cars at the moment. So that is what we can do with cars that don't have body kits. And hopefully we'll get to have cars with more body kits in the future. For example, let us go straight into the hyper dogs. You're high in the sky, down on the ground with you. Yes. You can adjust camber or flatten it out like this. I would never do that to a McLaren. No. Raise it a bit. Or this high. This is high. Actually, you know what? This is good enough. I wouldn't do it on the floor. Because that just looks kind of weird. Even though you can't really lower your center that far down just in track mode. Um, but it's all personal preference, you know. To wrap up, what bumpers, skirts, and hoods you want to install all depends on what arch you have installed on your car. So if you have a stock arch, you can't put anything on. You can't you can only put what is compatible with that arch. And if you have a custom arch on, you can only use um, what parts you have installed on the, uh, you, you can only use once parts that are compatible with that arch that is the gist of the custom of customization as it is uh, right now but it this is still a good thing because it gives um, the devs room to add more customizable parts onto cars that don't have customization and there are lots of them that need customization badly i mean there are obviously some cars that don't have any of these things at all like for example the bugatti la voto noir or even the koenigsegg 121 but you know there are tuners here that definitely in the real world tuners and some exotics here that in the real world have like lots of customizable parts and they can definitely benefit from this new ui and from new parts so this is definitely still like a phase one thing but i do hope that i do add more parts because this thing looks barren and i want to customize it it just has the stuff here that this needs to be customized this is a tuner but that is what i wanted to um relay onto you guys about this new ui it looks great um, this is only phase one. There's stiff, definitely more stuff that needs to come. Like, we need to add more parts, obviously, as I said, and you know, add more customizable things. I heard people saying that they want neons, and people say that they want other stuff on here, uh, maybe wheel spaces, stuff like that, that they can add. But that is stuff that um, I will definitely pass on to them, and we can definitely roll this on one step at a time until we get what we want until we everyone here is satisfied so i hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys learned something from this i hope you guys enjoy making more customizable cars from here rate comment subscribe and i will see you next time oh.